Hi. <clears throat> so this is really cool. Many of you like follow my channel have seen that I've made hundreds of loads of different um, ways to install DaVinci Resolve on various Linux distributions, but Bazite has such a clever solution for this. Um, obviously, a lot of people want to use it. And Bazite's a gaming, a gaming sort of um, Linux distribution based on Fedora. Anyway, so here we are. We're in Bazite. And basically what we've got to do, we've got to download the DaVinci Resolve uh, installer, the zip, put it in the downloads folder and just leave it there. So either version will work, the studio or the free version. So you've got to just make sure it's in the downloads folder. And then once it's in there, we need to go to, just a second, we need to go to uh, command line. I'll get there in a second. Get rid of that. Go to command line. Up it comes, and we use what's called you just, and I've said that it's you just install resolve hyphen resolve. There you can find the command if you Google that online, you'll find it. Just copy and paste it into there, and now you run it, and it's an install upgrade DaVinci box. And what this is going to be doing, this is going to install a containerized version of um, DaVinci Resolve. If you don't know how Bazite works, Bazite is an immutable distribution, so you can't ever affect the core. And here we go, it goes off and you can see it's going response to Box setup. Yeah, so it, you can't really affect the core programming files on this. You put layers of software above it. And DistroBox basically means you can install all different types of uh, Linux distributions on top of this and run them. Now, some of you think there were this speed loss, very small, you know, to no speed loss if it's the drivers are set up. So what it's going to do, it's going to pull down the um, DistroBox setup. I don't know how long this takes. And yes, yeah, so by the way, you can see it there, it's inflated the um, DaVinci Resolve into the Linux run file there. When my ones, when I've done this with mine, I've had to do all sorts of crazy stuff, a very similar way to doing it. I'd have never seen this before until I started to use um, Bazite more. Um, but yeah, you put it in the downloads, you run your installer. Um, I mean, I did mine with, with Bash scripts um, and a run file to, to get it to go. And here we go. What's it doing? doing something, uh, creating DaVinci box using the image. So I'd imagine this is building a containerized version that it's going to put the resolve inside. And then you're running it inside this containerized version, which is very, very clever. And they're persistent containers, so they don't vanish after you. I mean, you things like um, you've probably heard of um, Podman. And also there's the other one, and I can't remember the name of it. Just a box, enter, start. No, so, okay, so it's done the box, and now it's going to install inside it. And the other one, I can't remember, it's not Kubernetes, it's um, Docker. Sorry, you've all heard of Docker. But basically, yeah, so Podman or Docker, but Podman's what's being used in Bazite. So now it's going to install, we've now created our container. It's going to install that inflated DaVinci Resolve file inside it, which is rather cool. You don't have to do this if you're on, you know, Ubuntu or Arch or any of the other distros. It doesn't quite work this way. You you basically, I mean, on Fedora, I've got a Fedora installer, and this is based on Fedora. But on Bazite, it's basically locked off, which is brilliant, because what will happen is, if you do major updates to the operating system, it just makes a snapshot version of itself. So if the new version doesn't work, when you boot, you'll see another version, another version. You can go back to your previous version. It's really good. The amount of times I've flattened a Linux installation for um, because I don't know what I was doing with the driver package or something. With this, you just roll back and you can start again. So you've always got this snapshot. Anyway, so it's going to go in a minute. You'll see it. We should see a ton of files with pass. Here we go. Setting up dev mounts, read only mounts, host sockets, NVIDIA integration. Yeah, this is um, got a 5060 Ti on it. Here we go. And off it goes. And now it's basically expanding DaVinci Resolve into the distro box off it goes and obviously what it's done is it's clawed in or set up all the dependencies to Vinci resolve new uh, uses and this is always the problem with saying a resolve you need all the dependencies to get it to work and that's why you just can't run that file and that's why i wrote all those scripts to do this if you have a look at my channel you'll see there's mint i did a universal one recently here we go get to the end and it's installed so it does create an icon on the desktop but it, when the first time you see it, it doesn't work. Well, doesn't look correct. It will when you reboot, it'll find the correct correct icon. So I've got the free version. So just load it. And off we go. And it should launch, he says. There we go, we're in. 
Now I've got an NVIDIA card in here, so I should get some. This is the free version. You don't get H.264 or H.265 on the free version. So let's have a look. Resolve, Preferences, and it has picked. There we are. 5060 Ti, CUDA. So ready to go. And uh, let's cancel that. And then see what else is in here. So go to the delivery tab. You can see what codecs you can use. Now you should just get AV1. Yeah, there we are, which is perfect. If you've got an NVIDIA card, you can use AV1 for everything if you're going back online with it. And it's got ProRes now. You can just use ProRes natively in Resolve on Linux, which is phenomenal. Um, bit of a game changer that. Because I mean, so much stuff's in um, ProRes you can use on professional cameras. The only issue is there's some problems with the sound. Certain codecs don't work with the sound. But there you go. It's that easy. And then after you've finished doing that, you can click back, switch back to games mode. And um, carry on playing. It's like um, it's the greatest solution on the planet, isn't it? You've got amazing games platform of Steam. And then you've got your creative platform of um, for editing and all the stuff. And you put OBS on here as well, so you can literally do everything on Bazaar that you need to do. Let's boot back up. And we're into, I've got this in, installed Bazaar deck mode. So here we go. And there's all the games. So I could then play, you know, Black Myth Wukong for a bit, flip back, do a bit of resolve. Anyway, pretty cool. Thanks for watching.